Welcome to Tech on Tap Live. I'm Dan Isaacs with NetApp, and with me is Ed Morgan from ANS Group. We're going to talk to you guys for a few minutes about FlexPod. So, Ed, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what FlexPod is? Sure. So, Flex, do you want me to hold the mic? Okay. okay. So, FlexPod is NetApp's converged infrastructure stack. Um, consists of FAS arrays, both hybrid and all flash, Cisco Nexus switching, and Cisco UCS compute. Okay, and that all comes pre-configured in, a, in a, a single rack. So what does the uh, customer have to actually deploy uh, when they buy a FlexPod? So, so it tends to come as, it's not as a single SKU per se, but it comes with uh, a series of validated architectures um, by both NetApp and Cisco. I think there's 140 odd now, I believe. Um, so you tend to know what you're getting and you know, you shouldn't have any of the, the uh, deployment issues you might have in something that didn't have, you know, a, a reference stack, for example. Yeah, I, I think one of the great value adds that our partners uh, bring to the table, both, both for NetApp and especially for our customers, is uh, you guys are able to take those validated designs and build these configurations for the customer uh, so that the, when the customer buys a FlexPod, um, the partner is adding the value of putting all this infrastructure together, following the you know very detailed, uh, validated designs, and uh, you know delivering that basically a, a roll 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 infrastructure in, in place. Cool. Well, I, I know uh, just recently we uh, um, announced a validated design, uh, Cisco and NetApp validated design for all flash FAS within a within a FlexPod. Uh, can you tell me why that's important? So I think that's a really, really strong move by NetApp and Cisco um, to get that out the door because, you know, a lot of people, if they buy just a single flash array or, you know, an all-flash FAS, uh, just as part of a normal refresh cycle, they very quickly find, or certainly from my experience, they very quickly find that they hit other bottlenecks in their environment. So whether that be, you know, they haven't got 10 gig networking or, you know, they, they, have, they haven't got enough compute to efficiently drive the I.O. through the, through the flash array, um, if you know if you're buying an all-flash flex pod, um, that everything's going to be sized correctly, you shouldn't hit any of those bumps in the road. Um, you know, so in the long term, and it, you know, it, it just makes more sense to, to do it singly rather than retrofit 10 gig switches in or retrofit, you know, a bunch more compute. You know, get it all in one hit. As you said earlier, just wheel it in, takes all the pain away. So. Yeah, that's one. That's one thing. Uh, certainly, earlier, earlier in the cycle, in the life cycle of Flash, uh, that's the big thing we noticed when we would bring an all-flash array into the customer. Uh, you know, we would find out they only had eight gig networking. Uh, they didn't have ten gig throughout their infrastructure. So, or they, you know, had older, older servers, not enough CPU, not enough CPU cores to actually drive, uh, drive the load that the all-flash array is capable of, um, and. That's what I love most about the, the FlexPod solution with AFF, is just like you said, you can just roll in a complete infrastructure, upgrade everything in the stack with a validated design, with the full support of NetApp and Cisco, all at once, uh, basically a turnkey solution in, in, in most cases. Okay, thanks. Uh, are there any other things about uh, FlexPod that you think our, our customers and our, our partners have been enjoying? Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, obviously, with it being built on FAS, it ties into the whole wider data fabric message that you know NetApp's you know delivering at the moment. So, because it's based on FAS, you can easily tie it into a hybrid solution, you know, and snap mirror off to AWS or whatever. You know, it it just fits into the wider the wider NetApp piece. Um, so, you know, it's not like if, if you were just buying them, I don't know, like a, a less intelligent system, uh, I'm not sure how much I can say on that, but uh, <laughs> needs to be careful there. Um, yeah, so, you know, it, you're buying a FlexPod, you're buying a, a reference architecture, and it ties wholly into the, the wider, you know, data mobility message, um, so you're not, you're not stuck on-prem or, you know, whatever. It's... Yeah, the, the, because it's built on, on NetApp FAS, it's built on data on tap, uh, cluster data on tap, allowing you to have, you know, all flash nodes, also in the same cluster, in the same logical namespace, 
with data mobility between the different tiers also have other nodes in the cluster, in the storage cluster that are uh, hybrid or disk only. And then you mentioned the data, data fabric, having the mobility of the data to uh, you know, move it from, you know, from on-prem in your FlexPod to maybe a FlexPod sitting in, in a, uh, <clears throat> maybe a FlexPod sitting at a, at a colo, sitting next to, adjacent to the cloud so that you can uh, take advantage of the cloud compute while your data stays on your, on your own, yeah, net app private storage or you know, replicating to cloud on tap to take advantage of, of the compute and, and dev capabilities of, of the cloud environments. Um, and not just AWS, you know, we're not, we're not married to any one cloud provider. Yeah, uh, certainly Azure, uh, more and more cloud providers being added every day to the, uh, to the uh, qualification matrix. So uh, very excited about that. Uh, being able to go from, from disk to flash within the cluster and then going to the cloud um, either via data on tap or by leveraging our AltaVault uh, for you know, backup to the cloud. All right, anything else you'd, you'd, you'd like to share? I just think we should reiterate that how powerful that data mobility is because there's not many people that can do that. And it's, you know, the way the industry is going, you know, that it, the hybrid model is definitely the way, certainly from my experience and what I'm seeing, the hybrid model is definitely the way the industry is going. So it's really important that FlexPod sits in that stack so seamlessly. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll have other people on to talk more in depth about this uh, later in the week, but um, absolutely, the, the biggest concern that most people have with the cloud, in addition to the cost, because it, is, it does get pretty expensive, <laughs> is, is you know, your data, compute, is, uh, compute has no weight, as we say, the data has mass, uh, and because the data is your IP, essentially, you know, that is your, the value of, of your IT department is the data. Uh, being able to maintain control of that data while still leveraging the great benefits to scale out compute for or to set up uh, you know quick and easy dev environments so that you as the IT department don't necessarily have to maintain dozens of you know a huge compute farm uh, you know just to support your dev and test you can take advantage by the CPU cycles when you need them um, <clears throat> it's a, a great story uh, being in you know, data on tap is is powering most of that so all right. Well, thank you very much, Ed. Appreciate your time. And that's all for now. Thanks, guys.